Hello guys and welcome back to some more GTA 5 on the next gen consoles. This is episode number 6. You guys have been incredible so far. Keep the support coming and I'll keep these episodes coming thick and fast. I'm going to park here because why not? <laughs> so this is our new base I think. We're going to plan our heists and stuff. But yeah, I've been... I've got so many games this week and I'm constantly compelled to come back to this. It's weird. It's, it just shows how good this story is and how much I, I'm loving this first person next gen game. It's been incredible. Right, let's jump in. And see what's going on. Can we... Lester, where the hell are you? The there he is. is. this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now, they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. Nico Bellic. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Who's this unpredictable fellow? <laughs> so we could uh, perhaps use Franklin? Could that be a possibility? Could be. Probably the stuck. Is on and we can go. <laughs> so this is the jewelry store we're gonna do a heist on. Start planning it, getting the crew together, seeing what we can do. So this will be our first ever heist that would be interesting to happen. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Ah, uh, interesting, right. So almost at the jewelry store, it's just up ahead. It seems like Lester knows exactly what's going on. He's, he's such a clever bloke, basically. He knows ins and outs of what Michael's been up to and his dodgy dealings with the uh, FIB or FBI, as we call them that. It should be just along here. There it is. The sexy jewelry store. Actually, is this it? It might be around okay, the corner, actually. Let's get this done. Yeah, it's around the corner. Ooh, there's a half naked man with a. That's okay, let's just move on. Right, so I've got my glasses. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. So go in there, perhaps take some pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Okay, we can try and look at that. Um, is it outside or is it just inside? Thank you. I'd like to spend some of my money, please. Sir, thank you. Right. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Uh, can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Right, so that's the air vent up there. Hey, beautiful. Oh. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? 
Oh, no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You He's such it. a flirt. Fine, that was what it was, but you're not done taking photographs. My checklist reads ventilation system and CCTV. Uh, shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vents check. Come back to me. Camera? Done? I'll go back in the car. We're done. We're done with our job. We'll be back here very, very soon. Do not worry. I'm going to come out a little bit of a nosy round. Yeah, you opened that Hello, door for me. Day. Thank you. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Sounds like a plan. So let's go to the top of the building. Let's hurry See what's going up, down. Michael. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me a chance. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. So if we go... Um, go behind the building, I guess. So it's down that road. Let's go down this next one. Should be a way to get up, hopefully. Uh, what's the, oh, what's along here? Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Oh, sorry. Why is it? Oh, don't you want me to go up there? So we need to park up. Let's park up. I'll get to the roof. Now I can go. <laughs> right, let's get in here. Is anyone working in here? Is it? Seems to be so quiet to me. With the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. I'm on the roof! Alright, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Uh, store should be... Be up here, shouldn't it? Somewhere up here. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Well, let's try and get up here. So it's talking about Trevor. Um, the guy we met at the start. If you haven't seen the hey, story at all. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? All right, uh, I've got a shot of some small vents. They're vents, but they're not the vents we need. We need a out. shot of the unit above the jewel store. It's the walled-in one, so climb up and get a shot of it. I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Is it up here then? Is this the highest side? Yeah, I think it's up here. Here we go. All this climbing. He's getting quite old and stuff. It's quite a lot of work got for him. A good Good enough? The shot. Yay! The on the roof now. Okay, Success. Do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Coming down, coming down. Oh, that's a roly. Whoa! Looks a bit weird that roly polies in this mode. <laughs> right, let's uh, yeah, try and get out of here. So much climbing in this episode. Just constant climbing and running around, taking pictures with glasses. Oh, oh God! That could have been painful. Why is that just to fall to your death in first person? <laughs> that would be a little bit scary. Right, let's head down. Where was it the exit? Was it here? Yeah, it was here, wasn't it? There we go. I'm gonna find you somewhere. Down the ladder. Come on, oh. Michael, let's go. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We have to go down the ladder, there we go. Dab -a dab -a dab dab -a dab dab. I wonder when they could probably gonna release like a brand new like GTA game. How long would that be? Like two years time I reckon? So perhaps, so it's 2.14 now, isn't it? So perhaps we can go with 2017, perhaps? I don't know. Oh, sorry, my bad. Getting too used to jump in. Yeah, I reckon it was like a couple of years. Take your glasses but... back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Who did you call? Boy, it's just us two at the moment. Whoa. Garment factory. So that's going to be our base. I think pretty much for the whole game. So what did you sure. see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. 
security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system is linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm -hmm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe tonight. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I love Lester. So I guess we'll start planning this, uh... Oh. Here are the photo. <laughs> what? How does he trust these people? Their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the roles, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? I think the choice is quite obvious, I think. Um, being smart is always the best approach, I think. I mean, using the gas would mean we have more time to get in there. Uh, let's go for the smart one. Ah, you've grown one. wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Right, so go with like a really cheap driver. But you might screw up and like lose the money, so... Um... Uh, 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 what do I fancy doing? I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a decent driver. 14% cut is quite a lot Eddie though, which Toe. is annoying. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. So we have like a cheap guy for the guns, I reckon. Yeah, let's ah, take him. Norm. Came across as a, you know, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but... This is the person who will determine how long you get inside. So I don't want to so be in there for longer? Or do I want to like sprint in and out almost? I don't know. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Not sure. Hmm. Which one do I want? I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with Paige, I think. Let's go with Paige. Paris. <laughs> Good. Paris, sorry. What? Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. Yeah, if this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Yeah, I think, I think I'm happy with that. I think it's a safe option. I could have spent a little bit less, perhaps, on, on the percentages, but I'm happy with that, I think. Yeah, Great. good. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, 
Uh, I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. <laughs> Thank you, Lester. <laughs> He's got a good point though, he hasn't done it for a while, so I guess he's got to try and do it a little bit a little bit convincing. Confirm to save, yes, for sure. That was fun, I enjoyed that. That was awesome. Getting ready for this heist. Looking forward to it, it's gonna be good. Alright, so where are we going to next? Um, let's see what's out here. I guess our cars are ready to go. But before we do is end this episode here, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more episodes as always. Oh, it's a phone call. Hey, Who's what's up? Hey man, it's me. Hey Franklin. Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Sweet. Frank is going to come in on the deal. Should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.